RPMs. In the machinery control room, nearly 300 sensors are monitored by a Bailey meter 750 system. Current operating parameters for any point can be retrieved instantly. An alarm logger immediately prints out excessive values. The periodic log displays and records values on a regular hourly basis. All instructions from the bridge are automatically recorded on the bell logger. The machinery control room can assume total control of the entire propulsion system. The MCR also houses the ship's secondary steering position and serves as the damage control center. Normally, however, direct control of the propulsion system passes to the bridge. From the bridge, engines can be started or stopped at will. The officer of the watch has direct control of propeller pitch and ship speed. Immediately next to him is the helmsman with both visual and gyroscopic references for steering. There are three steering modes, hand steering through a port or starboard system, or both, autopilot by a gyroscope fore and aft, or a hand lever bypass system which applies port or starboard rudder directly. On the port side, the captain's console, with cease and check fire buttons for the missiles, gun, and mortars. Land launch switches for the helicopters, the officer of the watch has direct line telephone communication with all areas of the ship. Power, control, response. It means incredible maneuverability. Dead in the water to full speed ahead. speed in excess of 28 knots. She turns easily, gracefully. Full speed ahead to full astern in under 90 seconds. Five hundred tons. Versatile, sophisticated. Her primary job remains anti-submarine warfare. It starts with detection. The variable depth sonar, a Canadian development already adopted by several NATO navies. The giant body, filled with electronic instrumentation, can be lowered to varying depths and thus pick up signals which are deflected by thermal layers in the water and not detected by the standard hull-mounted sonar. It is designed so that regardless of depth or speed, it will ride almost vertically beneath the ship. Each 280 carries two sonar systems, hull-mounted and variable depth. They are radically more sophisticated than those of even a few years ago. Manufactured by Canadian Westinghouse, housed in consoles designed by Hollandse Signal Apparaten of Holland, 
they offer a much more sensitive visual mode of presentation. They are combined with a digital computer which assists in tracking targets, evaluates information, and provides fire control for the underwater weapon systems. The Mark 10 mortars are slave to the sonar computer fire control system, tracking the target automatically. The system's design is all Canadian. It also provides fire control information for the torpedoes. These are Mark 46 homing torpedoes, long range, high speed weapons, which also carry their own sonar instrumentation. Each ship carries two helicopters. They can be launched and recovered in relatively severe wind and sea conditions. This means non-stop, 24-hour-a-day helicopter capability. They are CHSS-2 Sea Kings, carrying a crew of four, powered by twin turbine engines. They carry their own sonar systems and are armed with Mark 46 homing torpedoes. Large, long-range aircraft. They vastly extend the surveillance range of each ship. Zero, Charlie. This is Gulf Six. Command and Control System 280. The operations room. Nowhere is the revolution in technology more dramatically evident. Designed by Lytton of Canada, the CCS-280 is a highly sophisticated data processing and display system using third-generation digital computers. Cathode ray display consoles provide instant tactical information at the touch of a selector button. At the combat control officer's position, the entire tactical situation, or any aspect of it, is instantly available. Contact, identification, assignment of weapon systems, orders to engage, as well as the coordination of friendly fleet elements are handled here. Contact designations, courses, speeds, ranges, vectors, CPAs, all computed within milliseconds. West to east. Alpha 7, Oscar uh, zero. Mike uh, zero. Oscar Mike zero, uh, firing uh, window delta. This is Mike zero out. The communications center. High-powered radio transmitters feature digital tuning to within four places of decimals. Communications to all fleet elements and shore stations is greatly improved through data links, allowing, in effect, computers to talk to computers. Teletype enables older ships to receive tactical information broadcast from any CCS-280 system. In the operations room, all console units are interchangeable, but associated equipment allows specialization. This is the underwater weapons console, manned by the weapons direction officer. Adjacent to it, surface and air weapons, 
manned by the ship's weapons controller, 